permanent identification of cattle not only helps in preventing property losses, but it also assists in herd record keeping efforts. Freeze branding is one such form of permanent identification. Freeze branding works by destroying the pigment producing cells and hair follicles. This results in white hair growth. It can be done successfully at any time of the year, but often works best in the spring or fall when a new hair coat is starting. In addition to producing white hair growth on cattle with a base hair coat other than white, freeze branding can also be used to create a bald brand on white hided cattle. This can be done by extending the duration of brand iron application during the branding process. Both herd identifiers and individual animal identifiers can be branded onto animals using freeze branding. Unlike freeze branding irons, hot iron applicators typically have gaps and are narrower than freeze branding irons. This allows for heat escape. Freeze branding irons, on the other hand, are often made of copper alloy. They are designed to transfer low temperatures to the hide of the animal successfully. Dry ice can be acquired in either brick or pelleted form. It can then be mixed with alcohol as a substance that can be used to cool freeze branding irons. To make sure that the irons are cooled completely before applying them to animals for branding, make sure that you see a level of frost extending up the handle about two inches above the surface of the alcohol and dry ice mixture. Liquid nitrogen can also be used to cool freeze branding irons. It cools the irons to a much lower temperature than the dry ice and alcohol method. A specialized container must be used to store liquid nitrogen to prevent its rapid escape. Other supplies to have on hand during the freeze branding process include a spray bottle, leather gloves, and a timer with the ability to track seconds. The freeze branding process starts with proper animal restraint. Good facilities are needed to ensure the safety of both the animals and their handlers. Select a location for brand application. For beef quality assurance purposes, it is recommended that the brand be applied high on the hip or on the shoulders as opposed to over the ribs. Prepare the hide to receive the brand by clipping the layers of insulating hair. This also provides a visual guide for brand placement. Next, wipe the area clean with a brush or rag. This removes the clipped hair and also any other debris. Then spray a generous amount of denatured alcohol to thoroughly wet the hide. This forms a layer that helps transfer the cold temperature of the iron to the hide. Before applying irons to the animal, double check records to make sure the proper brand is being applied. If a number or letter has to be used twice on the same animal, make sure that the iron cools again thoroughly before reapplying. Apply the cooled iron with firm, steady pressure. If the animal moves during this process, simply reapply the iron to the same location. Make sure the iron contacts the animal for the proper period of time. For the dry ice and alcohol method, on a dark hided animal, this is 45 to 50 seconds. With liquid nitrogen, it's less time, 25 to 40 seconds. To create a bald brand, make sure to apply the iron for an additional 10 to 30 seconds. The amount of time the iron needs to be applied may vary according to environmental conditions, so it's important to practice for your location to determine the proper timing. Freeze brands typically become legible about six to eight weeks after branding but it may take several more months depending on the stage of hair growth. 